Hello everyone and welcome to the furniture mod review. I am going to use my Simply Horses Ranch as a demonstration of this mod. So hopefully we can go about and demonstrate some of this stuff. So I'm going to actually legitly make some of this. So we need white wool, black wool. Oops. Just trying to see what all I need here. Some gold ingots. Glass, a bucket of water. Okay, so once you got those items, you want you will also want sticks and iron ingots. So there's, there's my sticks, my iron, and you want some chests as well. So I'm going to I need an axe as well. So I'm going to go in here. Okay, and what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get rid of a bunch of this. Okay. Alright, so I've gotten rid of part of that for you. And I guess I'm trying to think. Okay, so go to your crafting table. There are several items, so you can see there's, I took out a couple of the mods just to make it easier because there was getting some lag. So we have a table, chair, cabinet, coffee table, fridge, couches, curtains, blinds, carpets, a cooling pack, and a lamp. So, to make a chair, you simply do that, and you get one chair. So I'm going to go... Make a few. And you can't stack them apparently. And then a couch is six wool. Right now there's only a few colors, so I don't think you can make it with whatever color. So you have to use either the dark green, brown, black, white, are the only four colors available right now. And then curtains use the red wolf, there and you get two curtains. So I'm just going to make a bunch of those. There and they do stack. And then your blinds are quite a few sticks. But wood isn't always isn't a resource that you really need to hunt around for. And then your cabinets. Are like so, all the way around with a chest in the middle. They're stackable as well. And then your fridge, it's two chests with iron ingots around it. You get a fridge. And then you need a cooling pack, which is a glass all the way around with water in the middle. You get two. And then you get your bucket back. What else am I missing? Tables. 
are actually the Atmos uh, perch recipe, except with uh, wood. So there's a table. And I want quite a few tables. And then a uh, coffee table. Is like so. So I'm going to go and get rid of all these items that aren't really needed here. Whoops, I needed the wall. And then to make carpet, it's just two squares of wool. Like so, and you get four pieces. Am I missing anything else? lamp. And to my dismay, I just looked at the recipes on the forum page, there is no recipe for the lamp, which is rather depressing. So we will go around and I will still show you, I will have to spawn a bunch, I will still show you how they work. So I'm just going to get rid of some of this stuff here. It's not really part of the mod, and away we go. So, curtains, well actually let's start with the cabinets first. So cabinets are very exciting. Um, the way my kitchen is set here is really hard to show you guys how these work, but I'm going to put one there and one there. So they have a really nice aesthetic feature. They look nice, which is always a bonus. So when you right click on them, they open up and you can actually store stuff in there. So let's put some food in there. Voila. So there, one of our cabinets has some food in it. You right click, this one doesn't have anything. I'm going to put some sugar cubes in there. Alright. Oh. Hello. Quick. Before you start hurting me. Okay. And then the next item is. The fridge, there it is. And I don't really have anywhere to put it, so I'm just going to put it here for now. So that's what the fridge looks like. You right click, and you get a freezer, and you get a fridge. Freezer, fridge. Doesn't actually keep anything cool for you, however, when you put lava in here, a bucket of lava in the freezer, mind you. Where the heck is my bucket of lava? Oh, there it is. So you put a bucket of lava in here, plus some fuel, so... You put some coal in there, and it actually is supposed to... Maybe not. I don't know. Why are we all hitting me? It's supposed to turn it into... Oh, okay, there we go. You have to put your cooling pack in there. And it's going to turn this lava into obsidian. So that is the easiest way. And then you should get your bucket back. Yep, so one block of obsidian for one bucket of lava, plus one cooling pack. So I had two, so I get one block of obsidian. That's how you want to do that. And then as long as this snowflake symbol is beside the fuel, that cooling pack is going to keep going. So if you have several buckets of lava, you can just keep going. Alright. So that's how that works. And then your fridge, you can use to store other stuff as well. Now, the table and chairs. So, I'm going to put a chair there. I'm going to put a chair here. And, hey. Put a chair there. Feed this cat again. And then I'm going to put a chair there. When you right click, you can actually sit on the chair. It doesn't really do anything at the moment. Like, you can't. It doesn't do too much. But, there. Sitting on a chair. Right click. You can get off the chair. And the tables look really cool. 
like so. They look a little more like an actual table. So that's how that works. I'm going to go upstairs to show you guys the couches and the curtains. So I'm actually going to get rid of this. And it's thunderstorming in my game. And I'm going to grab the black couch. Takes up two blocks of space and looks like that. Nice little furniture there. And obviously this is the default texture of wool. I'm not sure if you change to a texture pack if that's going to change. So I will test that out in a few minutes. So that's the couch. I'm actually going to stick the brown one over here. There. And why not? I will put I'll we'll put the green one there. And then I have the white one left, so I'm going to go to the other bedroom and switch out the chairs. Oops. And then you can obviously click whichever side of the couch you want to sit on and your character will move. So those are the couches. The blinds and curtains are probably some of my favorite. It's actually not going to make any difference in here because there are the redstone lamps. So I need to go somewhere. It's a little darker. Okay, so you just right click and when you place them you right click and they actually close and actually make a portion of the room darker. Now it's not going to make any difference because I have glowstone. And then obviously when you right click you can open them again and then they're really easy to break off the windows if you decide you don't want them there. They're really only good for single windows, so if you have like a layer of one window instead of the double, they don't really have the same effect on the double. So like these ones here. So I'm going to put these curtains up, and they work exactly the same way. They have a nice little feature when you put them together like that. And then when you right click, they close like that. And they are also really easy to break off, like so. And then finally we have the coffee table and the lamp, and the carpet. So the carpet, you just take your little squares and you place it on. So it basically just turns it into what looks like a block of wool. But it's just a tiny little thin strip. And because of that, you don't get the wool or snow sound when you walk over. It still sounds like whatever item is underneath. And then you can obviously arrange them in fancy patterns if you want to. Like so. So that's a nice way to make some little rugs and it doesn't take as much. You actually only need yeah, for every two pieces of wool you put in your crafting table I think you get four carpets. And then obviously you can only do it with the four colors here. So the lamps can be placed on these tables like so or they can be placed on other blocks. 
and then when you right click on them, turns them on, turns them off. Once again, it's not going to make much difference in here because I have so much glowstone. But if I was to go somewhere a little darker, it would definitely have an effect. So, not really any dark parts of this house. And finally, we have the coffee table, which is just a miniature version of the regular table, like so. And I think it would be great for my little patio area. So, that is the furniture what? That is the furniture mod. I hope you guys like it. There are some ID conflicts when it comes to the Atmos mobs, but as soon as I get that um, the ID resolver ready to go, I will show you guys how that works, and then hopefully we can get that sorted out for you guys. So, thanks again for watching another mod review, and I will see you guys next time.